Hi, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com, and uh, I've been recording a few of these time-lapse videos as I learn how to use the new Dynamesh and Curve Brush tools in ZBrush. Uh, I thought this time I'd do a little voiceover while we watch to give you an idea what I've been, what I'm doing, since it goes by so fast. This one's almost over already, but um, <laughs> uh, right here I'm using the brush lathe tool to draw out the initial shapes and then mostly just using the brush move topological tool to squish things around a bit that the brush lathe tool is awesome because you can draw that curve and then you can make all kinds of adjustments to it before the final lathe shape is set so you can draw out the initial shape and fuss with it all you want before you finalize it. Uh, right there I use the uh, insert sphere tool and I use it on Z sub so that it's subtracted when I did the dynamesh instead of added. So you can you can use that Z sub instead of Z add to uh, use it like a boolean subtraction which is awesome. I've been using that a lot in the subs tools but it's way less clunky here in Dynamesh. That's the best part. It just flows so well. Everything flows together. And I love how you can keep the separate objects separate as polygroups, but all have it all as one mesh. So you don't have to fuss around with the subtools as much, especially when you're just sketching out ideas like this. <clears throat> I had a picture of a mushroom I started at on this little bowl shaped one but then I decided I wanted to make it look more like one of those angels of death or the trumpet of death mushroom real crinkly gross looking black mushroom here I'm using the move topo elastic or move topo brush and then I, I think I, in a second here I'm gonna load up the clay brush the brush clay build and the brush clay I love that brush clay tubes and clay build especially now that I've finally gotten myself to use my touch sensitive tablet it's so nice that clay brush you can just lay on clay like you're drawing it in 3d space like you're sketching in 3d space it's really great right there I used inflate a little bit to bulk up that area the clay brush didn't have enough room to work now, right there I also used inflate to get rid of those holes on the dynamesh sometimes it gets too thin and uh, the dynamesh will stick some holes in your mesh I've just been using inflate and re-dynameshing re it to get rid of that I did this one in two parts hang on a second uh, in this next part I was gonna play a little bit more with the curve tubes uh, which is an awesome tube, an awesome tool. You can just draw out tubes off of your model, but it also has a nice curve feature that lets you change the shape of the tubes that are being drawn. So here I'm fussing around with the the shape as each one is drawn out, and now I'm just basically flicking the pen off of that model 20 times, and I got 20 different, totally unique. Um, little fungoid mushrooms there that tool is awesome I'll be playing with it some more and I could have stopped and adjusted each one of those curves individually to make them even more unique 